What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, I've got a special video for you guys. This is something that has been highly requested on the channel as of lately. And this is going to be the very first time that I've done this so far this year. Now, as you read by the title, I am going to be doing some camping and I'm not alone. I'm not with Brandon though. Let me turn the camera around. Oh, look who made the journey. That was a little loud. That was. I'm sorry, folks. Luckily, we're out here in, in the woods. How's it so going? Welcome cares. back. I feel like I live in uh, Wisconsin now. Like, I'm here the whole month of March. I miss Nick and Brandon so much, I had to come all the way back here. I'm you brought... some freaking salmon right now because I'm bougie like that. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Now we're going to cover it, let it cook all the way through. Call me Gordon Ramsay. Oh my God, I just burnt myself. So yes, I am up here with John and Lindsay. They made the send all the way from North Dakota, which is forever away, probably like a solid eight to 10 hours or something like that. And we are going to be camping tonight and turn it around. I got my truck, obviously. My kayak, I'm gonna be taking the kayak out. If I go to the back of my truck here, you can see that I have an absolute ton of stuff back here that I need to organize. I got my live scope, cot, sleeping bag, all that good stuff. But down here in this really terrible, awful box is my truck tent. So I'm gonna be taking this out of the box, going to be setting it up in the bed of my truck with this nice, beautiful view. And we are going to start camping. I don't know what's going on over there, maybe some PDA, but we're going to Start setting up the truck then. I have that so unorganized. Like just shoved in there. It's unreal. Shoved in there? Yeah, like this is the normal bag that it's supposed to come in. I'll tell you what, there is not a chance that thing ever fits in that bag ever again. That's why I just shove it in this box. But even it doesn't even fit in that box. So great like million dollar idea make a universal bag that fits every freaking sleeping bag, every tent, every cot. I'm done with it. It's annoying as hell that none of this stuff fits in there. I'm gonna start setting it up. Nick, how's life going? Good. We got the truck tent set up. I should probably show you guys. So this is the truck tent from the outside. If you guys haven't seen our past videos, we made a bunch of videos of us camping in this very tent. Come around to the front here. You can see this is the tent. Very spacious. I got a five and a half foot box, so I don't have the short bed with the crew cab. So you get a little extra room. You could put a cot, you could put an air mattress. This actually fits a full queen size mattress if you decided to uh, just toss one of them bad boys in there, you could. Tonight, I'm gonna be using a cot though. Just me, plenty of room. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to get down to like 40 degrees tonight though. So that might be a bit of a botch because <laughs> this is not insulated. Um, so yeah, as you can tell though, behind me, while we're on the subject here of insulated, uh, this is John's van. John, here, actually, let me take the camera. Go ahead and just show everybody what you're gonna be camping in tonight. Thanks for the, here, I'll do like a cool, like, welcome to my crib. Oh. Without breaking it. Without breaking it. All right, so, this is my van. I haven't named it yet, but, uh, yeah, anyways, I bought this. It's a 1999 Dodge, like, 2500 van, and I bought it because it was pre-already, like, dressed for a camping. So if you come in here, come on. We got a nice bed right here. All right, we got lights, a fan, a working sink and cabinets and solar panels on top. And like basically just a lot of plugins and stuff like that. Lindsay and I, we just added this. So this is like a bed extender. We built this and slid it in here and we even had enough room underneath to keep a fridge and all of our shoes. So, wow. that's like the general gist 
of what I'm gonna be sleeping in tonight and uh, kind of compared to what Nick is. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> drop a comment down below and let us know which one looks better. I'm curious. Uh, uh. So what we got going on right now is I've got everything inside, which isn't much. Got a really old piece of crap cot, a sleeping bag, uh, another blanket, and then John and Lindsay are just like caring for my life. So they did the nice thing and he gave me his Jackery and a heated blanket. So when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to plug in a heated blanket just because it is supposed to get really cold. They say 38, I think actually. So it could get even colder, especially out here in the woods. You never know. And like I said, this isn't insulated or anything. It is a bit early here to be tent camping. Um, obviously if you're doing like what John's doing, you have a camper or like a hot tent or something like that, perfectly fine, whatever. But as far as tent camping, I would maybe go a little bit warmer. But so we're all set up. He's all set up. They already ate their five uh, course meal here, but we we are cooking some glizzies here. Well, John's cooking some hot dogs for me and uh, drinking some beer, mainly because I didn't bring anything else. Like if I go in my cooler here, what I've got interesting cooler. I've got one. It's really small. Look at Big Yeti guy versus <laughs> the old Coleman. So let me open this up here, dude. This whole video is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Pretty much. So we go we go in the cooler. One, we got some Red's Wicked. Big Red's guy. We got some hot dogs. More than right there. You gotta come prepared. Uh, ketchup. And then literally the only other thing besides icing here is we got some bacon. So very, very unprepared. It's all meat diet. Hot dogs and bacon. <laughs> yeah, jeez, guy. So basically what we're getting at here is, yeah, this video is pretty much uh, like the really awesome experience camping and like the terrible experience camping. It's still going to be fun regardless. I had to actually work today, uh, so I didn't have a lot of time to plan. It was pretty much last minute, grab everything, get up here, and try to set up before the sun goes down. So I'm going to enjoy some glizzies here and uh, I think we're gonna start a fire, maybe sit around that. Tomorrow morning, we are gonna be going fishing. That is why I brought my kayak and they both have their kayaks. So be looking forward to some fishing content. Hopefully we get into them. Not really sure what the heck we're gonna be targeting yet, but we are gonna be tossing for pretty much anything that bites. Oh God, yeah. This is some sort of dinner here, let me tell you. <laughs> you got a five-star meal, bud. Oh, yeah. John was nice Four. enough to burn the living crap out of these and his salmon skin. Uh, yeah, he did have salmon. Meanwhile, I'm eating a hot dog. But thank you for grilling them. I appreciate it. Because one more thing I actually did forget is a grill. So if he wasn't here, I would have to actually make a fire and do it like the old-fashioned way. But uh, cheers, I guess. We're going to try the old dinner. That's pretty good. Let me tell you. Are you are you serious? Is it actually good? That's that's cap. It's actually not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. It's not bad though. I tell you what, like you're missing out actually. Might have to make myself a couple wieners. <laughs> I got here. enough. I got enough. <laughs> Stopping power rounds. <sighs> I guess. I'm well, you gave her a shot. That was the one Holy. with the knot though. Well, as you guys can tell, we got a fire going. John's <laughs> sorry, sorry, good audio. Okay, sorry. John's trying to split wood, yeah, and go. this one has a giant knot right here in it. So that's good. I'm I'm impressed you hit it though. I think it's like ten out of ten swing on there. I think it's time for this now. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, fire is going out. Sat around it. Just caught up with John. Obviously, he drove way over. And I don't think I actually said, like, if you don't know who John is, um, he has a YouTube channel. I don't know why you wouldn't know who he is, but his channel will be down in the description if you don't know who he is. But we just caught up, spent the last couple hours sitting by the fire, enjoying this nice, relaxing night. Gonna be heading to bed here. So, the last little bit here, I got my lantern on. We got the blanket plugged in. Not sure. 
how warm this bad boy is gonna get you see it's got her got her in right now now john did some reviews on this before he bought it and apparently it takes about an hour hour and a half before this thing gets really hot and the guy that actually did the <laughs> review said that after about an hour and a half he just had to get naked so <laughs> I don't know if it's going to get that warm. I'm if, sleeping in here tonight with you then. Damn. If it gets that warm, then I guess we'll see. But I got the heated blanket, normal, just a uh, quilted blanket, and then I got my sleeping bag. So we're, we're going to hope to God that I stay warm. But, yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys what we're going to be doing. Like I said, we're both going to be going to bed. The plan for tomorrow is we're going to be waking up. We don't have an alarm or anything. We're kind of just planning on waking up whenever we wake up and taking the yaks. We're going to fish the lake that we're camping on to start off the day. Uh, we're just going to be going for, like I said, whatever bites. Mainly, I think we're going to be going for some bass, but then I think we're going to be trying for some crappies after that. But that's the plan of attack. Not sure what time that exactly is going to be at, but first I'm going to try to survive the night and uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. So it is the next day and we just woke up. So everything actually worked pretty decent. I ended up surviving the night in the tent. Wasn't actually cold at all. Now the heated blanket that I, I was using actually stopped working throughout the night. I'm not sure exactly what time that was, but I, uh, I survived. So we love that right now. We had a fire going, just happened to go out. John just cooked us some breakfast on the old grill. Now, like I was saying before we went to bed, point of the attack right now for the day is we're gonna be doing some fishing. So, got the kayak all ready. Basically what we need to do now is we need to take down the truck tent, pack all of our stuff, and then we're going to head down to this beautiful lake. Let me show you guys here. So we go down, and launch the yaks, and you got this pristine lake up here in the middle of northern Wisconsin. We have done quite a bit of filming and fishing on this lake. I've actually pretty much grown up on this lake. My family has been camping at this campground for 50 some years, so definitely common coming up here every year. Uh, I've been coming up here my entire life, so this lake is absolutely filthy with largemouth bass. and. If you guys watch the channel, we started off doing a lot of largemouth fishing and then it kind of fizzled out once the challenges stopped and uh, mainly just because the views kind of died off. It's definitely something I love doing more than anything. So we figured if we're up here, John loves bass fishing, we're all going to take the axe out and just kind of go see what we can catch. So we're going to get everything rigged up, we're going to take the truck tent down and we're going to get out on the water. So, made it out on the water. We're out here in the old kayak. Got John and Lindsay right over there. Basically right now, we're thinking these fish are gonna be up in sh the shallows. So, I'm gonna be starting the day with the good old wacky rig. Uh, pretty much a go-to staple up here. If you're not catching them on the wacky, then are you really catching them? That's the true question. If that's not working, I do have on a jerk bait. Obviously, pre-spawn bass love the jerk bait so uh, there's definitely some spots that we want to check out so I'm going to be turning on the GoPro running that and we're gonna see if we can get into them There's a fish. Get him up here. Oh God, yeah. Not a bad bass. Definitely long and skinny. Probably a male. First ones usually to go to the beds are always gonna be the males. Get the beds ready and whatnot. That one came off of just super shallow water, probably only a foot or two. And uh, he wanted the sankle. We're fishing the windy side of the lake right now. And uh, yeah. Definitely going to go out here though before I get 
solid shore. Still trying to figure out a pattern, but a fish is a fish. There are some big bass in here for northern Wisconsin, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to find them. So we're gonna keep on working the shoreline here, see what we can find. All right, getting a fish. Oh God, yes. <laughs> Just a giant. All right, well, they're definitely back here. John and I, we went the whole shoreline, got to this back bay area. Water seems a little bit warmer. We've been seeing a lot more fish up in the shallows. He's gotten hit like six times in a row. We're not gonna talk about if he caught him or not, but Definitely seeing the activity, and that was the first fish I got back here. Oh, we got one. There we go. <laughs> Tiny. I set the hook and launched him out of the water. Is that what I'm missing? Yes, I guarantee it. Just a giant. Oh my god. Took my Sanko. That dirty son of a gun. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Giant. See how they ski across the water like that? That's when you know they're big. <laughs> Definitely getting fish though. Back to back? Back to back. Nope, check it out. Same size as the last, let's go. Another bass, another tiny one. We love that. So our goal for the rest of the day, we're probably gonna end up leaving this lake. And we're going to go try a different lake, maybe switch species, try to go for some crappie and uh, see if we can get on top of them. The fishing here wasn't like outstanding. We did catch fish, uh, just nothing really of size. They had beds made, they just weren't on them. Water's still a little bit cold. So like I said, we're gonna try one more lake and see what we can get into. All right, you guys, so the last time you saw me pick up a camera or have my GoPro on was at the last lake. We are now at a different lake, but we aren't just getting started with the fishing. We're actually done with the fishing. See, we went out there. We were only going to fish for about 30 minutes. Uh, that didn't actually end up happening. We fished for about like two hours and we didn't catch any. F well, I specifically didn't catch any fish. John, on the other hand, caught. What did you catch? 14 and a half inch crappie. Yeah. PB, PB Wisconsin crappie for me. Definitely, it was funny how it actually all occurred because we went around like the entire lake trying to search the shallows, didn't find them at all. John was like, they're probably on that shoreline. I was like, okay, let's go. I had live scope. So you think obviously we should be able to catch fish a lot easier. Uh, ended up finding a crib, which if you guys don't know what a crib is, John did not. It's basically just like a wood structure that the DNR puts in. Uh, to help keep fish on structure basically because a lake like this doesn't have any structure So they put those in so the fish have something to go to and basically found that 
couldn't really dial it in because uh, I could tell where it was on the live scope, but no anchor or no spot lock really makes it difficult. John was just going over the top of it, spotted the crib in like eight feet of water. He's like, hey, here it is. <laughs> Tossed his bobber down and hooked up with a 14 and a half inch crappie. So that was pretty sweet. Um, I'll toss a picture up. We did take one picture on the phone just so you guys can see that we physically, we did, we did do it. So it happened. Uh, but unfortunately now we are all packed up. We aren't going to be doing any more fishing We aren't going to be doing any more camping. We do have to go back home So he's actually going to spend the weekend uh, in Wisconsin I don't know how much more content we will be filming together, but we did we did a camping send So hopefully you guys still enjoyed let me know what you guys thought of the camping setup Would you rather sleep in a setup like what I had if I obviously brought like everything that would go with it? Uh, it was a little rush or would you rather have what john has the old dirty van his setup is definitely probably a lot better but you're talking a lot of dollar signs for that versus not a lot of dollar signs for a truck tent you know we're looking at like 200 bucks for mine versus you got to buy a whole freaking vehicle so tell me what you guys would rather sleep in go up in the Northwoods with uh, definitely cool though. Glad John could join us. Stay tuned for more camping videos. This is something that we're probably going to hit pretty hard during the summer months just because it is something that we like to do a lot of and we're always up in the Northwoods anyways. So pretty much when we're going to be fishing, I'd say 90% of the time we end up just spending the night wherever the heck we're at anyways, even if we don't show it on camera just because we got to drive so far to these spots and we're out in the middle of the woods anyways and we fish so late that we end up just sleeping in my truck anyways so if that's something you guys would like to see more of and more camping adventures let me know down in the comment section below until next time guys tight lines from nb edits